What's going on guys? Mr. Domo here and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So today I just wanted to do another tutorial video this time on the Collector Archive Services. So if you, you want to get action figures graded by the Collector Archive Services, I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. And so as you can see, I am at their homepage and so I'm not logged in or anything like that because I wanted to just let you know uh, that with Collector Archive Services, you do need to make an account with them and it's totally free and they don't spam your box, your email box, just, you know, just like uh, AFA, a you know, the only time they're going to email you from Collector Archive Services is, you know, if they have questions regarding your, your invoice or updates about your invoice or when your items are being shipped or if there's a new service or a service being discontinued and if there's any discounts or you know they're heading to any kind of unique uh, conventions that are coming up so here as you can see there's uh, their homepage and of course you know if you do want to sign up with their account then you just go ahead click here on the sign up button and then of course you would just fill out all your personal information you know your name phone number address and email and so forth so pretty much once you have your account and you're set up and you're ready to go ahead and get an action figure graded all you got to do is go down to the shop tab right here and then you're going to scroll down to the grading and archiving so you're going to click on here and uh a window is going to pop up and pretty much you're just going to have all the different toy manufacturing that are out there so you know you have the a team you have uh, buck rogers clash of the titans gi joe ghostbusters you know you have uh, star trek star wars and so forth so pretty much these are all the toys that they have graded and they probably have um photographs of it and the prices of those items now so for an example here I'm going to go ahead and just click on the A team since it's the first one that shows up here. So once you click on the actual, you know, the toy manufacturing or the, you know, the, the title of the toy, whatever, uh, here you have like the A team. So once you're here, as you can see, this right here pops up onto your left side and you can see all the different toys uh, or action figures that are out there right now. So you see, as you can see, there's GI Joes, but then there's a subcategory of carded, loose, custom, box, mailers, multi-packs, and so forth. So uh, if it's something that it's, you know, there's a huge inventory of like GI Joe, then they have subcategories where if you're like, okay, I have a carded figure, I'm just going to go to the carded figure section. Or if it's a loose GI Joe, then you'll just head to the loose gi joe section so here at the a team uh as you can see you have all the a team action figures that are carded right now that show up that have already been graded by uh you know collector archive services and they actually have the title the name you know how you know how tall the action figure is the scale and then they have the prices already set for you because they already graded this before and so obviously here they have the uh the price which is 44.99 or it could go as low as 42 74 now the thing is if you do not see an, a, a toy or an action figure that is not listed maybe it's you know uh, not very uh, a very popular one or it is a popular one but they just didn't do the, like a certain character then you would just find this right here this icon where it says new and a toy that we haven't graded yet and it makes it super simple so let's just say you have a a team action figure and let's say it's loose and you want to get it graded so most of these are all carded as you can see so if you have a loose you know a team action figure that you want to get graded you, all you got to do is just click on this this window is going to pop up right and all they want to do is they just want to know the information of that action figure that you want to get graded so they're going to need uh the manufacturer so you know if it's like hasbro kenner or you know uh playmates whatever and then the toy line so the you know the toy line of, of, of that action figure the action figure name if you know it and then of course the year if you don't know it i mean if you if, if the toy doesn't have like a date manufacturing stamp on it uh then maybe just give them like a, a guesstimation of that manufacturing year and then of course you know you, you the condition here so is it new sealed is it new and open or is it loose you just kind of pick one of those and then they have a section for uh notes now this is really important because if you want your action figure displayed a certain way if you saw an action figure displayed 
you know a certain way and you want your other toys to be displayed that way you could just write it all down here and let them know uh how it's going to be uh displayed or how, how you want it to be displayed or if it's a, like a rare figure or a prototype or pre-production you would just you know let them know right there and then here the ea which is just pretty much the return shipping insurance amount and it right here you can see that it's the the return insurance cost is one dollar per one hundred dollars so uh it almost kind of mirrors afa so if you know your items around like two hundred dollars then you're just going to put two dollars here so two dollars is going to cover you for two hundred dollars when they ship your items back once you put that amount you just click here and that you understand that you had put the shipping amount on your uh you know on this uh submission form here and then all you got to do since this is pretty much a request from you know collector archive services just letting them know hey this is what i got what can you do for me it's pretty much it's free so you don't have to worry about it i know it's going to go through the steps like you're you're uh checking out but you're not paying for it so uh when you actually look at your invoice it's still going to say zero dollars and i'll show you that once i log into my account and show you how it looks and how you get your packing slip so so all you gotta do is add to cart check out and then give them about 24 to 48 hours and they'll contact you via email and let you know what can they do or if they need any additional uh, information and probably at the same time they're gonna give you a price on how much it's gonna cost to you know get it graded or get it archived and all of that and then from there it's your decision if you're gonna go for it or not so that's pretty much it so next i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna log in and then show you uh you know all the extra little menus and stuff like that and how to check your invoices uh once you have your account all right guys so once you make your account and you log in you're pretty much you're gonna be default to the my dashboard uh area here and of course you know everything's gonna be blurred out just because you know this does have all my personal information on here but uh pretty much here on my dashboard just kind of gives you a quick look of all your orders and what's going on if they've been submitted are they processing and so forth and here as you you, you could see this side right here where it says you could view your order or you could print packing slip now this is very important because uh once you submit your um you know your order via online to get an item graded you're going to have to come here to your dashboard and then come here to print packing slip and you're going to end up uh you know printing out your packing slip so usually it's about two pages for me when i print it out and it'll have a barcode on it and then on that packing uh you know slip there's going to be an address to uh send it off to uh collector archive services which they're located down in florida so very important that you come to your your dashboard and print your packing slip and add that to the box you know wherever your your action figures are, are being sent off you know in a box just go ahead print that out place it in the box and then ship it off to uh collector archive services so other options that you have here uh you do have you know the dashboard you do have account information that just pretty much has all the information about your account you know username and so forth uh address book if if you do have multiple addresses like if you're sh getting stuff graded and you have different addresses that you want to send it to that's where you're going to go uh my orders is pretty much just showing you all the orders that you have product reviews of course if you do any reviews on products that you've uh you liked on you know collector archive services it's going to show up here uh wish list is pretty much like a favorite like if you favorite an item that you might think about getting graded you know, the way you see it uh, you could favor that item so that way you don't have to search for it again and then down here this one's very important too so the my collector archive services submissions now when you click on this one and again you know a lot of items are going to be uh blurred out just because of personal information but here this is very important because once an item is actually been graded uh and has an actual grade or so forth then they're going to upload photos of the item being graded in its acrylic case and then you'll get the a photograph of the label so if you want to you know you could download it, it it's uh 
uh, it's available as a as a zip file, so you could download all the pictures if you want them. You know, uh, just high quality uh, photos of your items being graded. But this is where you're gonna come to actually see, um, you know, if it's graded. Uh, what, what you know, what was the actual official name that they have it as? Uh, what grade did it got? And then the photos of different angles. So I think you get like a front, a back, and a side view, and then you get a photograph of the actual label. So this is where you wanna come if you wanna see photographs. Uh, but like I said, it has to be graded already. And then of course, it takes about 48 hours for them to upload the photos. But by then, you'll have an email already sent through, uh, sent for, you know, to you from collector archive service saying hey your item has been you know graded and then they're gonna ask you to go ahead and pay for the return shipping so uh, just to let you know when when you do uh, submit the first time an action figure to get graded you're only paying for the gr uh, the grading of that action figure up front and then once the figure is graded then Collector Archive Services is gonna email you saying, hey, this is what you owe us for the return shipping. So they just do it that way. Uh, it's a, it's a, Obviously, it's a little bit different than AFA. AFA, you pretty much pay for everything up front, but I, I don't know if Collector Archive Services does it this way just because maybe they don't know how big the acrylic cases are going to be and so they need to calculate it on their end how much it's going to cost to ship it back to you to your house or your business or whatnot so just to let you know uh so you are you know expected to pay you know the the grading up front and then to get that item back you're going to pay for the shipping coming back to you and then that depends on the item i think it, it it's either like if it's going to be ups or it's going to be through the postal service but i've noticed that they do require signatures so if it is coming back just make sure that it is a day that someone's going to be around at your house or business that they could sign for it because they do require a signature uh, for the items but that's pretty much it it's real simple of course packing up your items is the same as afa so uh if, if you want to see how i do it just you know i'll put a link up above and that way you can check out that video but pretty much i just make sure i double uh bubble wrap my uh figures or you know carded figures or box fig figures and then just place it in a box that's big enough that has plenty of room all around the sides and then just fill it in with you know uh packing peanuts or you know tissue paper or newspaper or whatever and then just you know go to your local post office and then ship it off to collector archive services so that's pretty much it like i said this is super simple uh they do things a little different but i think it's a little bit easier and of course you know if you're not opting into their uh you know their express grading for loose you know figures or whatever then the wait time is about six months so i sent in my stuff at the beginning of the year and i'm just getting them back as of now but um but I think they do offer a 30 a 30 day turnaround for carded figures and I believe uh, box figures. So that's pretty much it. I hope this information was useful for you guys. So hopefully you guys, if you're interested in getting stuff graded, then you know now you have the option of collector archive services or AFA. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video.